In this video, we're going to start learning how to work with decision trees for uh, machine learning. In scikit-learn and in other platforms, they are used for supervised learning for both classification and regression tasks. Decision trees are basically hierarchies of if-else questions uh, that ultimately lead to decision making depending on the depth of branching as well as on some other parameters. Here is a simple illustration of a decision tree for the Titanic dataset, which is often used for exemplification in machine learning. So we can see how the branching progresses um, based on how you apply Boolean conditionals. To be more specific to scikit-learn, let me now show you a plot for, from the um, mglearn library. Uh, which I'll give credit to Andreas Mueller and Sarah Geidel and I'll link to their machine learning book over here. So we're going to impo import mglearn, uh, matplotlib and we're going to use the magic command matplotlib in line. Now from mglearn we're going to um, plot something. So plot, plot, tree not monotone to show you an example of decision tree in scikit-learn okay so um, this is basically an example of a tree with the depth of two and uh, these two lines denote the decision boundary now the top over here represents the root. These are intermediate nodes uh, or split nodes. Um, and these are the leaves of the tree. Overall, this describes the, the branching of the tree. Now, it is important to mention uh, a term which is used in uh, decision tree uh, classifiers uh, and this term is the pure leaf or the leaf that contains points that all share the same target values so if you build and branch trees until all leaves are pure you're basically overfitting your model so um, and your model becomes very complex and we'll discuss this uh, in a later video now let's turn to applying a decision tree classifier to our cancer data set. And we're going to start doing the usual imports. So from sklearn, we'll start with the data set. Import load breast cancer. We're going to import uh, the decision tree classifier from sklearn tree. We're also going to import from model selection train test split to split our data. Now let's start with instantiating the data set and then splitting the data into uh, train and test subsets. the usual cancer data, cancer target. We're going to stratify by cancer target and the random state is going to be 42. Now we're going to instantiate or create our classifier with a random state of zero in this case and we're gonna uh, train it or fit it into our uh, data onto the data so tree fit onto the train subset and we're gonna finish off by printing the accuracy on the training subset so accuracy on the training subset we're gonna use three fixed points 
So score X train, Y train. And we're going to do the same thing for our subs test subset accuracy on the test subset. Three fixed points format tree score X test Y test. Now, hopefully everything is uh, written correctly. Now let's run this with shift enter. Okay, so um, the accuracy on the training subset is 100% because all the leaves are pure. So the branching of the tree basically went all the way down until the algorithm could memorize and fit all the labels. So uh, we're clearly dealing with overfitting here. Now, in the next video, we'll learn how to tune in the parameters of the decision tree classifier to prevent this from happening and also to optimize uh, its accuracy. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.